Uh, all right, how's it going? Um, welcome to the video. Thanks for clicking. Thanks for watching. And I also apologize. Um, my camera microphone decided to not die, but just not work properly throughout this whole video. So instead of um, not doing it at all, I thought I'd voice over it later on. Just so I can still put the video out and sort of explain what's going on. Um, as you can probably tell from the title, we're putting on a fiberglass hardtop on my uh, 2004 MX-5 SE. Uh, this is a um, aftermarket one from a company called, I believe it's um, Lightyear Carbon Fibre. Um, they're a company out of Australia. Uh, full disclosure, this thing cost me about 1700 uh, AUD with about $300 shipping. Um, it came within a week, it came with all the mounting hardware and the instructions are on their Facebook page I think. Um, and yeah, I just attempted to fit it by myself, which I did end up fitting it by myself. Uh, spoiler, it, uh, it worked, we got it on, I've been driving it for a couple of weeks now and it's not too bad. Um, this is all the mounting hardware that we have. Uh, bolts for everything and washers and two spaces to go on the rear bolts but we'll get to that later um the first half of this video is basically just me and my mate will um fitting up their inside um middle brackets uh you have to take off the um seat belt as well as all the trim around the side which is probably what i'm explaining now um mine also required a little bit of cutting in order to get these brackets to fit I really didn't want to take my trim off. You can, but I just chose not to. I'd rather um, the stock look still. So I trimmed some of the plastic in order to get a flush look, which did work out in the end. Uh, it just took a bit of measuring and cutting once these were bolted in. Alright, so I sped this up just so it's a little easier to watch. Uh, all we had to do basically was uh, put the bolt in, bolts into the threads with some washers so it was flush. Uh, make sure the middle bracket was bending inwards, uh, not the other way around. Otherwise, the uh, hardtop won't fit, which I found out on the other side later on, because I accidentally put it the wrong way. Um, so this is definitely the right way to do it. Bend it in, then we measured how much we needed, and then we marked it, and we just cut it. Um, it took a little bit, and we did it all with hand tools. I have a Dremel, but I didn't end up using it. Um, this is just us test fitting to make sure it's going to be in the right spot. Um, yeah. Alright, they light up, so that's good. So now I guess we take the roof off and start cutting, and then before we finish, tighten up the bolts, and then let's, yeah. And then we'll do the other side and then we'll film all the other bolts because that should only take like two minutes. So that's cool. Alright. Two hours. My two minutes is like two hours. Um, but yeah, that's uh, a bit of a win. Now it's just the cutting is what I'm afraid of because I don't want to mess up my car. But we'll see how we go. Alright. So this is just pretty much another time lapse of us just uh, trying to work out where to cut and probably arguing about it. Um, it turned out good. Here's the final product. So, uh, final yeah, products. I was pretty happy with this side. This side worked out a lot better than the other side. I had Will yeah. helping me, so that that was a bit Not better. It gives bad. me confidence. Um, the other side probably wasn't as cut as flush, um, but this one was okay. But yeah, honestly, I'm pretty happy with that. Everything should just clip back together now, and that should just be sticking out. So we're gonna tighten up the bolts. And, um, oh, flip, thank you. We just got to tighten up the bolts and make sure it's all good, make sure it fits. Um, we had a wonky bolt down the bottom, so it wasn't flush against the hardtop, but that's all we've got to do. And then the other three, but we'll do the other side first, and then we'll do the other side, and then we're done. All right, it's the next day. We got the first bit finished. Uh, this is just me, pretty much, I've already finished the other side. Uh, and as you can see, it's not as good as the other one, especially there. I kind of minced the um, the interior a little bit, but we tried. Um, it's not too bad. You can't really see it once everything's, like, once the seat's back and everything like that. Um, 
yeah, we didn't have too many issues with this one. This side was pretty easy. Uh, again, I do apologize. I have to voice over this whole thing. This is going back through the footage. I, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll get a mic. I'll sort it out. Um, but yeah, everything sort of fit up the way I expected it to. Not completely great on that side, but nothing else was bolted down. So I knew once I've put some pressure on it and start bolting things down, it'll, it'll pull itself in. Alright, so after we finished putting the second bracket in, we had plastic everywhere, so I gave the car a, click, a quick vacuum, as you just saw. Um, then we're putting the speakers, or uh, wind deflector thing, uh, just screwing all that back in, putting in all the screws, putting all the trim back together, because uh, that's the biggest thing, was cutting the sides. Once that's done, it's literally just lay the hard top on and then bolt it in from the top, there's no cutting or anything else required. So yeah. Okay, in uh, these clips, I'm just sorting out the front brackets. Very, very straightforward. Unscrew the old ones, screw in the new ones, and there you go. Uh, I was using a drill to try and do it quickly, which was a bad idea, but I didn't do them very tight. I tightened them all by hand with the provided Allen key at the very end, so don't come for me. Um, it's very, very straightforward. They all went in without a hitch, and uh, I was pretty much ready to do the back after that. Okay, I ended up deciding just to time-lapse the last bit because it's a couple of bolts and just me fiddling around with fitment. Um, all in all, I think it's okay. There's a lot on online and the Facebook pages about these things, these hardtops, uh, but no one has really made a video. So hopefully this helps and sheds some light on uh, the price and sort of how to install them and just a bit of info. I'm going to make a follow-up video later on on living with one and the things I would change, things to look out for, all that jazz. So uh, thanks for watching if you did. I appreciate it. Uh, hopefully we have a mic soon and we can make some better videos. I don't know what these videos are going to be, but we'll see where it goes.